a seed savers network Kenya. We are a farmers network. We are working with farmer groups, uh, CBOs, and we are realizing that right now seed is not a common good. We can assume like communities have seed, but actually it has been a preserve for few at the moment. I do farming, agroecology farming, and I have been trained by seed savers to do that farming and it has come to realize my visions very well because now I've become a seed saver. Together with my fellows, uh, we use that seed to improve our livelihoods. We have information that some institutions like Icaro, other individuals, universities, they registered those seeds and now it belongs to them. I know that the protection period is the protection period. Ni vibaya sana for all those years tuwe tukilima na ni kuproduce tu chakula peke yake instead ya sisi na tumepata mafunzo ya kutosha kutoka hawa watu wa seed savers na shikadao wengine tuna ile ujuzi ya kuproduce mbegu na kuuza na kuwa na seed business as a matter of request if they have come to get to the expiry date of those priority protection they release them to farmers so that we can continue multiplying them and giving food and the nutrition to our communities and our country at large. The main challenges for the farmers or small silk farmers is uh, the packaging of the seeds. Sometimes the, the small silk farmer they cannot afford to buy seeds because they want seeds uh, in a small quantity. Most of the seeds are being packed in a large quantities. On the other hand, we have uh, the, the farmer cannot access some of the seeds, maybe, uh, maybe like of uh, bisogam and all that, but they cannot access because we don't have the market for, the, for them. The people who have registered varieties that are climate resilient, they need to be able to provide this to communities and especially to community seed banks so that they are, uh, these varieties can be commercialized through community seed banks and more people can access them.